There are survivors, and then there are true survivors. And this thing is a true survivor. 1964 Ford F100. Purchased new by my wife's grandfather back in 1964 out of Downingtown, Pennsylvania. It has the straight six 223 motor, the three on the tree, short box, and it's wearing a lovely shade of Caribbean turquoise. As you saw in the picture, it's lived a, a difficult life, a storied life. Sometime, I believe in the 80s, my wife's grandfather parked it in his barn up in Wysox, Pennsylvania. And a storm ended up knocking the barn down with the truck inside. Caved the roof in, blew out all the glass folded the passenger side door generally just twisted the cab out of wampus and after that it sat for quite a bit and as I'm sure you can imagine the rust and rot took hold animals moved in It was in sad shape. Luckily, my wife's grandfather gave it to a neighbor up the road. He put a new roof on it, new glass, new door. Did an adequate job. The neighbor up the street had it for a few years, and I imagine beat the hell out of it. Did some interesting patchwork over the years on it. There was a, a lot of street signs and a lot of uh, tin can floor repairs when we got this thing. But backing up a little bit, after the neighbor up the road had it, my wife's father purchased it back off of him. And then he had it for a decade or more. And that's when I came into possession of it. So when I got it, the floors were completely out of it. It had no cab mounts. The cab was literally sitting on the frame. Toe panels were completely out of it. The steps were completely rotted. The A pillars were gone. It was not a good candidate for restoration. When we picked the truck up from my, my wife's father, or I should say when he delivered it to us, because he's a sweet fella. The truck did not run. And after a very brief period of diagnostic, I determined that the number six cylinder had no compression. Uh, the fuel pump was out in it and nearly all the wiring was eaten up. So we did a top end rebuild, pulled the rockers and the rocker shaft out, and discovered that a the exhaust rocker on number six seized and bent the push rod badly enough that the push rod was seized inside the push rod bore. But I rebuilt the rocker shaft assembly, put new push rods in it, new fuel pump, rebuilt the distributor, and she fired right up. You 
can see the new cab mounts completely reconstructed A-pillar the new tow panel it's a better shot of the inside of the driver side cab support and the new floors you can see the kick panel on the back side of the step and everything was poor 15 and undercoated of course new bushings but man this motor has made me fall in love with straight sixes this thing runs and sounds like a sewing machine and this is a hot start no choke, no accelerator pumps. It's a beautiful thing. And it'll idle like this forever. Runs cool. No lope to the idle. Smooth acceleration through the RPM band. Still has the original oil bath air cleaner in it, which you don't often see. You can also see the new master cylinder. That thing was so rotted out, fluid just drained straight out of the bottom of it. The only upgrade to this is the Protronics electronic ignition, which I have come to enjoy quite thoroughly on points ignition vehicles. Gearbox is buttery smooth. Take her out for a little spin. Takes a real man's man to do parking lot maneuvers with one hand in a manual steering truck. The bed is still riding on some pretty rotted out isolation pads, mounts, whatever you want to call them. So you do hear the bed shift a little bit from time to time. You can see the uh, Speedo has a little bit of a nervous energy to it, but it still works generally. Turn signals work, everything in this truck works. Heater, all the vents are hooked up. It's a beautiful piece of the past and a really a member of the family. Thanks for watching.